Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing an upper body flexibility practice and we are going to get into our shoulders. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in child's pose so you can come over onto your knees. Bring them out nice and wide, big toes can touch. We're gonna be reaching our arms out in front to start. But I just want you to push into your palms, kind of send your hips back towards your heels, maybe even add just a little rock side to side with the shoulders, the upper body. And then we're gonna be taking our right arm and sliding it underneath our chest. So your palm can face up, tuck your arm under your chest, and then let's actually relax it all the way down, kind of lay on your arm. Maybe resting your forehead or your right cheek. Close your eyes and take a nice big breath in and out. Another deep inhale and exhale. One more deep breath in and let it go. Awesome, you guys. Use an inhale and slowly lift your chest up. Take your arm out from under you. Reach it forwards. Again, just sending the hips back towards your heels. A little rock side to side with the shoulders. A little sway of the upper body. And then you can take your left arm and slide it underneath your chest. Palm facing up. Relaxing it down. Oh, just letting gravity pull your chest towards the ground. Relax completely through that right arm and left. Let's take another deep breath in and out. One more full breath in. And let it go. Awesome, you guys. Taking an inhale, you can slowly start to lift again. Bring that left arm out in front, send your hips back to your heels. One more sway of the upper body, rock of the shoulders, and then using an inhale, just start to lift your hips. Lift your hips up off your heels, start to set up a tabletop. We're gonna reach our right arm out in front. So nice and straight, you're gonna use your left hand for support and you're just gonna start to melt the chest down. So see if you can bring your bicep pretty close to your head. Your arm's fairly straight. You're gonna feel that nice stretch, that right shoulder and arm. You can rest your forehead or you can rest your right cheek again, keeping your hips high this time. But always letting gravity pull the chest down towards the floor. Awesome, you guys. Stay for one more full breath here. In and out. And then letting an inhale help you lift your chest back up. Bring your right arm, your hand under your shoulder. Set up your tabletop. Take a little shoulder roll if you'd like. We're going to switch sides. Left arm reaching out. That right hand and arm is going to stay beside you for support. Slowly melt it down. Slowly, slowly. Rest your forehead or your cheek. Let your chest get as heavy as you need to to feel the love through that left side. Also, you guys stay for another full breath here. And then letting the inhale lift you back up all the way into your tabletop. Take a shoulder roll if you need it. Nice job, you guys. We're gonna reach both of our arms out in front this time. So you have the option to just do a full puppy dog. Both arms fairly straight, melted down, or you can bring your palms together. And we're gonna lift our hands up above our head. So your elbows, Walk them away from you. Create that length through the upper arm and then lifting the hands above the head if you want it. Either way though, hips stay high, chest gets heavy, rest your forehead or maybe your chin and let the shoulders soften. 
Feel the love through the upper back, the shoulders. Awesome job, you guys. Using an inhale, so let your hands fall first. Uh, exhale, soften the chest. And then use another inhale to lift on up. Binding your way back into your tabletop. A shoulder roll, a sho shoulder wiggle, maybe. We'll feel good. Awesome, you guys. From here, we're going to reach our left arm back out in front. You're going to slide your right arm under your chest again. So same thing as we did when we were in child's pose. Let your palm face up, drop your shoulder all the way down. Keep your hips high this time. Rest your right cheek and just see if the left shoulder can get a little heavier as well. Let it go in the direction of the floor. When you're ready, using the inhale to lift you up, reach your right arm out, switch sides, bring your left arm under your chest, melt it down. Resting your cheek and then trying to get the right shoulder to get heavier as well. Awesome, you guys, letting it inhale slowly, lift you back up. Come into your tabletop one more time, take a little shoulder roll. And then you can start to cross your ankles, have a seat. <clears throat> so we're gonna actually come down onto our forearms. So come on down onto the forearms, and then we're gonna walk our hips away from our elbows or fingertips. So you're just gonna keep your elbows where they are, your forearms where they are, your palms could face down, and then just start to lift the hips and kind of scooch them away from the shoulders and keep going until you feel your shoulders. You feel a little openness through the chest. Might be a little bit weird, but it's really nice. <laughs> Soften your shoulders. You can tuck your chin towards your collarbone here. And just scooch your hips away until you feel the love through the shoulders. Awesome, you guys. Slowly, we're going to scooch our hips back. Back just enough until you feel like you can come off of your elbows. You can lean forwards and take a shoulder roll or two or three. And then you're gonna sit back again, but bring your feet to the mat, about mat width apart. We're gonna do our lovely chicken wing shoulder opener. So let's do one arm today. We're just gonna do one arm at a time. Take your left hand, bring it to your oblique, and then tuck your elbow into your knee so your palm is facing away from you. You can move your foot out wider if you need to to get your elbow in between the knee, but you're gonna feel that whole nice rotation of that shoulder and lean forwards a little bit. If you want a little more, just gently encourage your knee towards the middle of your mat. Find your breath. Just close your eyes, enjoy the stretch. And then nice and slow, just let your knee fall open a little bit so you can take your elbow out. Take a couple more shoulder rolls if you feel like you need it, hopefully you do, and then switch sides, the right hand. Top of the hand to your oblique, tuck your elbow in. Notice how this side feels compared to the other side. Lean forwards a little bit, let your head get heavier, and just gently send the knee towards the middle of your mat if you need more, or let it fall further away if you need less.
Awesome, you guys. Slowly let the knee fall open. Take your elbow out. Add in a couple shoulder rolls. Find your way into a nice comfy seat as well. Awesome, you guys. Let's just interlace our fingers in front of the chest. Turn your palms to face forward. It's opening up between the shoulder blades as you round through the spine. Tuck your chin. Push those palms forward. And then with an inhale, come up. Start to lift the chest. Bring your fingertips to the floor behind you. Pull the shoulders back. Lift the chin. Awesome, you guys, and relax completely. Ha, thank you so much for joining me today. That is it, that is all. It was short, it was sweet, and I hope that you enjoyed it. So until next time, namaste.